Hello. Yeah. You gotta move all this. Sick. Put it in your pocket. The absolute best thing about gardening is, or not even just gardening, but labour in general, is that you learn so much and I mean you learn so much about your surroundings, you know, being in nature and, and observing it, but you learn so much about yourself and your body and your energy systems and the way things work. Like when I'm doing this here, I'm always thinking, whenever I'm doing labour, I'm constantly thinking, there's a mechanic, there's a mechanic, there's a mechanic. And, and what I mean by that is that, you know, I was a personal trainer and so you do movements with a particular kind of form so the the body um, works for you and not against you. And whilst I'm doing all this type of stuff, I'm literally feeling my core working. I'm using my body in different ways and I'm trying to find a mechanic that sort of works for the tool that I'm using. So, you know, it may look a little bit weird, the position I'm in, but, you know, here, for example, right now, I'm using my the side of my body as almost a guidance point because I want to get this stick going straight into the ground. So I lock it in against my hip and I literally just almost pivot the back of the hammer and, and with my back hand and guide it with my front hand. And it like preserves energy. It looks weird, but it prever preserves energy and it keeps the weight of the tool because it's heavy all in line with my core. And then once it's in, I can do this type of a movement in which you can't really tell so much, but I'm using my back hand almost as a straight arm lever to push the tool up and again, just guiding it. I'm not really hitting. Um, I'm just sort of pushing and guiding and it's really cool because, yeah, I get to learn about how my core works and, and how my back works and stuff like that. So I just love labour because it teaches you so much about your body. Another thing that I love about labour is that you learn through analysis. So you do something once and you're kind of like, right, how did that go? Uh, do I want to do it in the same way as I did last time? And, you know, I was using a pretty rusty saw here, but I got to sort of feel the mechanic and, and understand that sometimes leading with the front of the saw was, you know, most beneficial and working on the push felt most beneficial. And you just get to play around with sort of how you use your muscles. And whenever I'm doing anything, I do my best to get into a deep squat and open my hips. I'm pretty proud of myself because one thing that's interesting is I learned a good lesson about managing reactivity when I lived in Thailand. Um, and that was because once I went for this walk and I was walking and I walked into a spider's web and I felt it go across my face and my instant reaction was to just react and shake my head uncontrollably. And I actually put my neck out. I had to go home from the walk and was like stuck on my back for like three days because my neck went so out. And um, obviously on that, I reflected and I was like, did I need to just react without any form of thought, you know? Could I have just remained calm? And obviously I could have, and I was walking. Now, actually, just typically when I walk into a spider's web, I don't react, I just be calm and I take it from my face. Like, okay, you don't need to flip out. And I was walking with the wheelbarrow just then, walked into a spider's web, didn't freak. Just like, it's, it's now instant in my head, like don't react to random, you know, things that you can't control. Just chill, take it off your face calmly. Because sometimes being reactive isn't really worth it because the outcome is typically less desirable than if you were to remain calm. So yeah, I learned that and I'm quite proud of that. Um, and yeah, I'm also quite proud of the fact that I'm no longer really scared of bugs. Um, you know, when I'm digging and chucking my hands in the mud, I don't really think about it anymore. But once upon a time, I was like so scared of bugs, you know. Um, but I think after living in Thailand in a place where like, you know, there is snakes crawling around and, you know, there's 
big spiders and scorpions and stuff like being here it just seems actually very tame the nature or the bugs and you just I'm not afraid of that kind of stuff anymore so it's quite cool to know that for, as a kid I was super scared of all these things and now I'm just chucking my hands in there like whatever if I come across a spider I come across a spider and that's that's quite cool I like that I couldn't help but notice that when I was digging up this mud, it almost looked like the skin, you know, like a diagram of the skin. I found it absolutely fascinating. So I, I just had to film it really to share. And I feel like I want to do some research into the skin and actually into mud um, and see if there's any similarities. This one is so cute, literally it looks like a blanket. Hey sheepy. Are you okay? Are you alright mate? Why does this one look kind of not alright? So the old ram got up and you should have seen me, should have seen me. I was out of there. I have. I have a love for animals, but you know what? I'm cautious around them, especially ones with horns. Even though that ram was miles away, I was like, all right, mate, I'm gonna leave your ladies alone. And you know, a son like me to leave the ladies alone, but I did. Because he was a scary ram. my fingertips. It is so beautiful. Being somebody who's engaged in physical activity for a large portion of my life, um, I really appreciate doing work like this because honestly my body just moves so much, I feel it works so much, I use my legs, my arms, my core and you know a lot of low to moderate cardio, it's like I'm walking all day, pushing wheelbarrows all day, I can feel my hamstrings working, I can feel my heart beat and I can feel that I'm slightly out of breath and I mean I'm just loving it and yeah I, I really enjoy um, getting exercise through labour as well as almost like brain power because I learn so much and get to feel physics in a different way um, you know I think if we we were taught physics through the physical body that might be of benefit through our, for us so good sometimes it smells like cinnamon sometimes it smells like oh, I don't even know like eucalyptus or something and sometimes it, it smells like I don't know all sorts but the best thing is, is it's so warm you can literally feel the like I don't know whatever the process is that's going on the decomposition of the material it's beautiful God knows how many deadlifts I've done today working on this pile, but it's good. It's good. 
I take these days as literally like a full day's worth of exercise. I'm like, yes, this is cardio and I love it. So yeah, I'm happy. If you've been watching my channel, you know that I was living in Thailand and one of the things that I was afraid to leave about was because I really wanted to do some gardening, you know, I really wanted to grow my own veggies and all that kind of stuff. Well, it turns out that I even have the opportunity to do it here. I'm a big believer now in if something changes inside of you, your external environment really does start to change because everything that I was afraid of leaving seems to be sort of making its way to me, even if it's only in small chunks, you know, I built a cabin in the forest and that was amazing. I didn't even do that in Thailand um, you know and I've just I've actually just been involved in much more things that are connected to nature than I thought I ever ever would have been so um, I'm really happy 